We're just going to outright buy it. We got the money to do it. And like I said, you know, by the, by the time we're done with this series, we're going to have money coming out our ears. We're going to have piles of money. So let's just spend it, right? Because that's what you do with money is you spend it. Or you do what I do at my age and you open a Roth IRA account and you start putting a lot of your extra money into that in addition to making double house payments. So by the time you do retire at age 60, um, you know, your house is paid off. You've got a little bundle of cash and then you can start your full time YouTube career. Welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are continuing the hunt for a uh, crowbar, but I'm over here at Fats Foods, and uh, I found a stove here, so we're going to try out this stove upgrade thingamadoodle and see how it works. So I've got the kit in here, and it says um, this stove repair kit is used with a hammer to take a broken stove and make it a working one that you can use. Okay, so um, I'm assuming we just... oh. Uh, it's not doing anything. Is it because it's not a broken stove? I'm so confused. How does this work? <laughs> I guess maybe because it's not a broken stove. Yeah, I'm right clicking and nothing's happening. Here, we could break it. Okay, now it's a broken stove. <laughs> no, that didn't work. All right, you guys are going to have to tell me in the comments how that works because I'm, I'm like, completely confused. I don't know how that's supposed to work. We're going to put this in here. Oh, we got to go down to the garden and drop drop off those pails. Uh, so let's do that. And then we're going to go back to, oh, let's see. Should we go north? We could go to the desert. You've never tried to do the stove, Victor? Yeah. I don't know, man. I... I've been giving, given conflicting information in the comments on how it's actually supposed to work. So maybe I'll do some research on it later. We'll see. Anyway, I just want to drop off these two uh, buckets of water. Okay, let's look at the garden here. Yeah, it's growing. Seems to be doing okay. The water is reseeding again, but... Mm, oh, you know what? Yeah, we better put some more water down. Let's do that quickly. I'm just going to take a ball, but I don't think we'll need all of them. Okay, so we got water here, so we should be okay. Let's pop one in here. Nope. There's some water there, but that's too far away. So we're just going to fill that up. This one we need to do for sure. So, see, I thought I would be clever. Uh, I'm talking to everybody on the live stream because you guys watching YouTube already know all this, but I thought it would be clever and build the garden out into the lake because here's the thing. If you plant plants right along the lake, um, it'll, they'll grow just using the water in the lake. But the problem is, you know, since I've done that, it's slowly, I, I mean, it's not really technically draining the lake itself because it's still, the water line's still where it was, but you can see what it's doing there. It's, it's sucking all the water up and it keeps getting further and further out. So what I have to do is I have to keep building these little platforms further and further out into the lake to try to keep up with it. So yeah, it's a, it's kind of a pain in the butt. But uh, anyways, I mean, it's working for now, so it's working for now. I'm going to put the empties back in here uh, for now because I don't want to deal with it right at the moment. Let's get rid of that. I think I'm going to leave the water in there, too. Uh, we'll leave the... I'll pick all this stuff up later. We just don't need it right now. And um, we'll keep the extra bullets because we'll probably use those. And Steve... I did not invite you to my party. Oh, we have one more uh, bucket to put in here. Okay, yeah, I'll I'll pick all that stuff up later. We don't we don't need to be carrying it around right now. So yeah, I'm 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 still a little bit baffled on how the whole stove thing is supposed to be working. Okay. 
So, let's take a look at our map here. We could either go... Here, put the parking brake on. Uh, we could go to the south and, and look... Uh, in this town, this is the town we were in in the last, uh, well, two episodes ago. Uh, these are the larger towns. This is this is where I'm ultimately going to move to. So why don't we go north? We got a pretty decent sized town here, and I'm pretty sure there's a pass and gas there we could check. And we also got a good sized town in the desert. And I am wearing desert clothing, I think. Let's take a look. Yeah, we got a cooling mesh mod and a cowboy hat mod, so both of those help with the cold. We got a duster on. Yeah, so let's let's go north. How in the hell did we run out of daylight already? For Pete's sake, man. All right, I'll meet you guys um, in... Uh, we'll go into the desert town, so I'll meet you guys there uh, when we get there. So of course now I I would I would do a cut in the recording until we get to the desert and then we'll start up then. So Josh, you're saying that it does in fact need to be a broken stove with an open door. Okay. That I guess I guess I understand. I I think. I mean no, I do understand. I just think it's kind of a weird mechanic. Mostly because here again we can't um you know, how do you get that stove into your base if your base is not where the stove is, right? Can you pick it up? Maybe you can. If you can pick it up, then it's all good. Do you know the answer to that? We should stop and pick up our bedroll. Unless I can make one in my own inventory. I don't know, can we? Yes, we can. Oh, but we need cotton. Of course we do. And fiber cordage. Nothing's ever easy in this mod, you guys. I think it'll be faster just to stop and pick it up. This is where we were last night. We left it on top of the, the gas station. So we'll look for a passing gas and or tool store in the desert town. And um, if you know if we don't find it there, then we have we have some places to the west that we can go. Uh, all right. So we're gonna have to do this to get back up there. Whoops. We're probably going to need one here, too. There we go. Best roof ever to put a bedroll on because it's half blocked, so nothing can spawn. Okay, let's go. What is this place here? I don't know what that is. Earl's. Does Earl's have a chance to maybe have a crowbar for us? Maybe. Let's go take a look inside of here. Zombos? No zombos and Earl's. Is this the place that has the weapons bag up in the rafters? I think it is. I don't see anything up there. Huh. All right. I don't think we're going to find a, a weapons bag in the cabinet. Let's just look anyways. What the hell? We're here, right? Wouldn't that be just something if we actually found it? Well, that's worth taking. That is worth taking for sure. Let's chuck this and this. 
I could have sworn there was a thing in the rafters there, but I don't know. Maybe it's a random chance kind of thing. You, okay, you do realize, Josh, though, I'm not on the latest update. I'm on the update before they came out with the food spoilage. So are you aware of that? I was already quite a ways into this series when they updated, so I elected not to not to update. Let's head on over to the desert. We have a Trader Joel over here. Um, I. Th I think I've checked his inventory since Horde Night. Maybe I haven't. Let's go take a look at it. We're looking for an auger, among other things. We had one hell of a crazy episode when we did that lighthouse. Um, which you guys haven't seen yet if you're watching the YouTube series. It's coming up, though. We got a buzzard here. He's going to attack us. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> we just got a skill point. Have we checked your inventory, buddy? Let's look at the secret stash first. You've got the chat. Ooh. You know what? We could buy that, you guys. And then I don't need to frickin' find a crowbar to find the other parts to make it. Because I already have the accessories. I already made them. It's only money. By the time I'm done with this playthrough, I'm going to have so much coin, I'm not going to know what to do with it. Um, I think we just found our solution. I think we just found our solution. Oh, okay, cool. Um, let me look at the bike. I did, do I have more coin in here or did I put it away? I don't. Okay. Awesome. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start the recording again. And, um, I'm just going to tell the peeps on YouTube that we found this. That we're going to head back to the base, grab our coin, come back, buy the chassis, and then we're in business. Oh, man, that's great. That is absolutely fantastic. Okay. So, let's uh, let's deal with these yahoos. If we could uh, find a sugar butts, that it'll even be cheaper too. Is there a sugar butts in here? No, there isn't. We should actually buy that for Horde Night. Um, where's the? Here we go. Health bar, jailbreakers. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's just deal with this Zombo too. Because they, they can wreck the trader. The trader's not invincible in Ravenhurst, so you kind of want to take them out so they don't screw everything up. Oh, for goodness sakes, now a hundred of them are going to come, though. We've got two there and uh, Creepy Crawly here. Let's put a bleed on him. Ouch. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, guys, we are at the Desert Trader, and I have made a wonderful discovery. Trader Joel happens to have for sale none other than a 4x4 truck chassis, and we can afford to buy it. Uh, it's going to take most of our coin, but who cares? Because, uh, like I told everybody in the live stream, by the time we're done with the series, I'm going to have more money than I know what to do with it. It's just the way this game goes. So what I need to do is run back to the base grab our coin, come back here and buy this, and then 
we're good to go, man. Then we can make the four by four and start working on moving down south. That is fantastic. So screw the crowbar. We'll eventually come across another one. I'm sure. Whoa, uh, another one. I'm sure. But uh, yeah, we've we've just taken care of it. That is amazing. So I will uh, meet you guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go home. I'm going to grab the coin, come back, buy the chassis, go back home. And then once I get back home, then I'll bring you guys back at that point, And we will make ourselves a beautiful, wonderful, absolutely amazing 4x4. Four four. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, let me do a cut right there, of course. All right, let's go back and get our coin, you guys. This is great. This is great. This is going to save us so much time. And we, we could have spent the, and we probably would have spent the whole rest of the stream looking for a damn crowbar. Now we don't got to worry about it. And I'm sure another one, you know, is going to pop up at some point in our adventures here. But, you know, the, the key to that is to tell the game you're not looking for it. And that's when you find it. So, yeah, we don't need a crowbar anymore, game. We're, we're fine. We don't need one. We're absolutely fine. You stole the traitor. Why would you do that to me, Black Widow? Well, wait a minute. It's you. Never mind. Enough said. That's not a bad idea, Josh. Uh, you're talking about the stove, I presume. That's not a bad idea, actually, at all. Let's, uh... Is there a stove in here? Yeah, but it's not broken. Okay. Oh, shit. Feral. Time to go. Grandpa's uh, forgetting sauce. <clears throat> oh, yeah, the elixir. Did he have one for sale? I didn't notice. It, it would definitely be worth buying that. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll look. <laughs> it's, it's an eBay sale item? Okay. The trader always has a forgetting elixir for sale, but I, I didn't, they don't always have the, uh, you know, the one that saves you money. I can't remember what's called. Um, we might even be able to make that. I don't know. We'll have to look at our, our, our thing when we get home here. Oh man, I'm so stoked. You guys finally a four by four. We've been riding this little mini bike around forever and you know, God bless it. It served us well, you know? But it just doesn't have very much storage space. Now, the downside to the 4 by is we're going to consume gas a lot more quickly. So we might need to actually go do a humongous um, oil shale mining session. Okay, so let's grab... Let's actually just grab all of that stuff. Um, let's see, what is that elixir shit called? Grandpa's learning elixir. Yeah, see, we can't make it. Um... Oh, yeah, that's the XP, right? It's the awesome sauce. You're right. Okay. Um, awesome. Yeah, well, we can't make this either. But did you say he did have one for sale? Victor. What what allows for uh, more inventory? Oh, yeah, for the 4x4. Four four. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. Um... All right, well, I'll just look before before we buy. Now, we we do have a stove in, right? So, uh, yeah, so we got a cigar in, so that gives us a 10% discount already. Uh, we have a point, too. Uh, let's look at this. So, let's go to intellect. There we go. That's going to save us even better, and we're going to get better loot. See? A point well sp spent. Point well spent. Uh, all right, let's drop a couple things off whilst we're here. We don't need that stuff right now. Um, we're going to save Adam Junkies for uh, for Horde Night, so I'll just put that in there for the moment. Uh, let's get the forges going again because they're out. So we want coal. Uh, we want stone for you. And you 
you're going to need about 20 minutes of burn time ish. That's going to fill up. Yeah, that, that'll work. Okay. And then for you, we're going to put, uh, you're still burning. This thing doesn't make any noise. So let's see, we've got 2000 iron. Let's put some more carbon in here. And, and I guess more iron. We'll just keep making steel like there's no tomorrow, you know? We have plenty of glasses for the time being, so we don't got to worry about that. Steel. Two things of steel. And let's make another 87 of those. We are going to need to make some more pipe bombs before horde night, uh, which means we're going to need to we're going to need gunpowder. Uh, yeah, I have to figure out how that's going to work. Uh, I have I have a thousand gunpowder there. Let's see how many pipe bombs we can make with a thousand. So uh, let's grab those and let's grab this grass. We're going to actually need to harvest some more grass here too. Okay, that'll get us four stacks, plus I still have two in here. So I'm going to be a little more conservative with the pipe bombs uh, because we're going to need all of that for Horde Knight until we can get some more nitrate going. And in Ravenhurst, nitrate deposits themselves. What the hell am I doing? That doesn't go in there. Uh, you can only get in the snow. Pain in the ass, man. But the good thing is, Ravenhurst is like old school seven days. When you're mining stone, uh, you get a little of everything, which is really, really useful. Kind of unrealistic, but, you know, I mean, this whole damn game's unrealistic, so let's not even go there, right? Okay, let's go back to uh, Trader Joel in the desert and buy ourselves a 4x4 chassis. Let me just double check something. We should have, yeah, see, we got the accessories here. Uh, we know how to make it. Um, because we learned the schematics, plus we have maxed out engineering anyways. No, actually, that's the mechanic one, right? Let's just double check something here. Four by four. Yeah, it's 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 unlocked, so we can make we can make it. Okay. Oh, we're gonna need tires too. Okay, we're gonna have to get I got all the rest of the stuff. We're gonna have to get some rubber strips. That means we got to hit some tires because I only have, uh, where is it? I only have one. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. We're going to have to harvest some rubber. Um, for tires themselves, I guess they're called wheels. Acid, tire rims, oil, and coal. Yeah. We got plenty of acid. We got plenty of tire rims. So, yeah, we're just going to need to get the, the rubber itself. Yeah, it's a, little, it's a bit slow going, but, it, you know, it's it's better than nothing. But I, I definitely hear you. Oh, you know what? We should probably refuel our bike. We don't want to run out of fuel. While we're having nasties chasing us, right? It's not, not a good idea. Oh, shit. Are we out of gas entirely? No, we can't be. I must have, I must have, uh, did I put some away? Are we really like that low on gas? Are you coming or not? Okay. Guess he's not. I thought we had a little bit more gas than that. Shit. Okay, we're going to have to go do a gas run, you guys. Okay, well, that's what we got to do. That's what we got to do. Change of plans. All right, guys, we're back. Um, We are on our way back to uh, Trader Joel in the desert to get the, the Jeep uh, or the 4x4. I've got all my coin with me. Uh, but I, I forgot that I had taken this treasure quest some time ago, and it's just been on the map for a long time. So I figured, you know, since it's on the way 
to the desert. Why not do it? So it's right here. And so we're going to find the extreme ends. Uh, so right about here. I know some people, you know, put up the put up the frames and all that, but I, I just kind of guesstimate it. So we go here. So I'm, I'm guessing, you know, right around in here is about the center. So it might not be 100% perfect, but close enough, right? And you know what? Darn, I didn't bring my good shovel with me, but that's okay. We got this shovel. It should work. So let's get this sucker dug up and see what we get. That's all right. We got lockpicks. That's right. I forgot. They lock these things. No problem, man. We got lockpicks. Mm-hmm. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Super enjoyed it. Even Maruski, you... Then I heard footsteps. You played with us a couple times too, didn't you? Oh, uh, nice. Nice. Yeah. Okay, we'll take it. Especially the rad remover mod. I don't need those arrows. Okay, we're not getting rushed, so we're good. Okay. All right, let's uh, head over to Trader Joel and get the coveted 4x4 chassis that we've been trying to get for so long. We're just going to outright buy it. We got the money to do it. And like I said, you know, by the by the time we're done with this series, we're going to have money coming out our ears. We're going to have piles of money. So let's just spend it, right? Because that's what you do with money is you spend it. Well, you save it too, but once you have enough, so you have a little surplus, then you spend it. Or you do what I do at my age, and you open a Roth IRA account, and you start putting a lot of your extra money into that in addition to making double house payments. So that by the time you do retire at age 60, um, you know, your house is paid off, you've got a little bundle of cash, and then you can start your full-time YouTube career. I mean, that that's what you do. That was another life lesson for you guys in case you didn't know how that all worked. Okay? So, you know, there you go. Free lesson. I won't even charge you for it. All right, what the hell are we doing? We're, um... Uh, we don't need anything out of here, right? I've completely lost my train of thought. Scary. There's some T2s out there. They make the scariest sounds. Okay, buddy. Uh, let's go take a look at your inventory. We're going to sell you a couple of things first. The cowboy hat and the green shovel and the shovel that I lost some money on, but that's okay. We used it to gain money, so, you know, it makes money, or, or it takes money to make money, right? And then, uh, so let's go here, and let's buy this. Oh, right, we were going to look, does he have the awesome sauce? Here, let's go here. He doesn't. Um, does he, I don't think he has it in here either, does he? Nope. Okay, well... I, I mean, I could drive around and try and find some sugar butts, but I don't want to. I don't want to. We're not going to do it. So here we go. Boom. Best money I ever spent in seven days today. We still have 15,000 coin left over. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Hey, you don't have any, like, rubber strips or wheels, do you? I don't think he sells that kind of stuff. Let's look anyway. Rubber. Nope. He doesn't. Okay, so now what we have to do... Uh, ladies and gentlemen, is we have to go around and we have to harvest tires because we need 64 rubber strips to make four wheels. I've got everything else uh, except for that. Let's go take a look at who's making the noise. Dude, that is some scary shit. You're tough, too. There. We bled him out. Okay. So, uh, we're going to head back. And actually, you know what? We we pretty much hit most of the tires on the way over here. Um, so, let's actually drive around the desert for a little bit. See if we can attract some buzzers and get uh, an infection. And uh, grab some more uh, rubber pieces. So we've got 33. We need a total of 64. I've got like, I don't know, six or so back at the base. And uh, we can't fit a mod on here, can we? I don't think. Modify. Can we actually put this on here? We can, but is it make actually making a difference? So right now it's doing 15 damage per pellet. 
No, it's it, it lets us do it, but it's not actually changing the weapon. Okay, well, um... Oh, yeah, you know what? I don't really need the full auto mod. I just put that on there to increase the damage. Let's do this. There we go. That'll make this weapon more effective against against glowers. Let's reload everything now. Whenever you check your mods, even if you just click the mods and not change anything, it unloads your weapon. It's a super pain in the ass, and I have uh, I've been hurt in the past because of it, and probably even outright killed. So yeah, I don't like that. Whoops. Okay, so we need roughly 30-ish or so. Let's just say 40. We're going to get 40 more um, things of rubber. You know, this axe actually does more damage to the Zeeks than uh, I remember it doing. And we even read that book where we do, you know, 25% less damage to monsters with the axe in order to do 25% more damage to wood. And even with that, look at this. Damn! Maybe we should be using the axe. <laughs> that's that. That's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. I have to say. Uh, is that a? Yeah, I was gonna say there's tire over there. Let's put these down on our toolbar so we can see what the count is. And uh, we're gonna go for forty. Once we have forty, then we know for sure we have enough. Okay, so let's just more or less stay on the road. That's going to give us uh, our best chance of getting tires. And we're going to get attacked by some buzzards. There's a coyote. There's two coyotes. What's better than one coyote? You guys know the answer, don't you? You're a tough little bastard. <laughs> okay. There's Miss Jiggly. Don't run away. I need your meat. See, I've, I've got terrible potato aim, so I have to get, like, right up in their face to blow their head off. Oh, shit. Smashing faces. Squashing heads. That's what we do in this game. Here, let's harvest you. Uh, where's that other coyote? Oh, it's right there. There we go. You shouldn't have come back, dude. You shouldn't have come back. You had the right idea the first time. Yeah, I'm, like, impressed with how much damage this axe actually does. See, uh, the axe used to be a viable weapon in really old school 7 days. And I'm talking, like, Alpha 7, Alpha 8, you know, way back then. And, uh, you know, then they nerfed it. And it was just worthless as a weapon. And I never really have tried it again. What is this called? Casino Lanes. Casino Lanes. Yeah, we don't want to go in there right now. That's going to be a huge fight. So anyway, I, you know, I never bothered to use the axe again after they nerfed it. But I'm impressed with how much damage this does, especially with a 25% deficit already, you know? I might uh, think twice about taking that magazine the next time around, but the problem is if you don't take it, then you don't get the achievement, you know, when you've finally read all the magazines in that particular category and, and get whatever the bonus is at the end. Is it? Hey, Mocho, what's going on, dude? Thanks for stopping by, my friend. Good to see you, buddy. I was watching some of Mojo's videos. Hey, Maruski, can you give Mojo a shout out for me, please? Um, I was watching Mojo's uh, video a couple nights ago, and he he was doing a couple things that I didn't even know about. Um, very useful. So learn some new stuff. I always love to learn new stuff. So he was using a wrench to break stuff in the very early game, and, and the wrench did way more damage than I would have thought that it would have done. Um, so I learned that from him, and then what was the other thing that you did? Oh, he found a nitrate deposit with a stone axe and was getting crazy amounts of XP 
um, you know, like, I couldn't believe it. And it's just, you know, it's those little things, you know, that you, I've been playing this game for years, you guys. Um, but, you know, there's still stuff to learn, right? You just can never know everything. And so that I, that was really cool. So I really appreciated those little little tidbits from watching Mojo's videos. Okay, let's continue our hunt for tires here. So let's see, what do we got so far? We've got 12. Okay, so we need 38 more. Oh, look at the gas tanks here, you guys. Holy crap, we just found heaven. This is gas tank heaven. Okay, let's get some gas. I didn't even know this place was here. Hot damn. Are we going to get rushed? Why do I say those things? I should just shut up and not say anything at all, and then maybe, you know, we can have a smooth gas siphoning experience for the very first time ever in the history of Ravenhurst. Maybe. Oh, this is great. Look at all the pumps that are here. We gotta mark this on the map, too. Okay, that one's broken. Really? Okay, well, still, that's not bad. That isn't bad. I can't complain. So we have a total of one, two, three, four. So four working pumps isn't bad. How much gas do we get out of that whole deal? So we got damn near a full stack. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So let's put um, that in there. We'll put these back in here and do a sort. Didn't quite consolidate it. We have just a little too, too much. Uh, we're going to go here and do this. Okay, well, anyways, um, guys, uh, I'm going to cut the camera here. Uh, those of you who are watching on the YouTube video, I'm going to finish getting all the rubber, and then I'll meet you back at the base, and we will uh, get our, our 4x4 made. Okay, so I'll see you in a bit. Let's make some wheels. So we need four. Actually, do I have any wheels? Uh, I do not. Okay, so we got the rim, but we don't have the wheels. Right? Double check. Yeah, okay. Three? Why can we only make three? What am I missing? Oh, we didn't get enough rubber. Son of a gun. Really? We're going to have to go get some more rubber. And I uh, got all the rubber that we needed for the wheels. So we got four wheels there. And let's get the accessories out of here. And we've got the chassis here. So we're going to need a battery. Um, And you know what? Actually... Let's just grab this, because the quality of the battery does not matter for vehicles. It used to, but it doesn't anymore. Um, so we'll just use that cheap battery, and these other ones we can save for battery banks later on or sell them or whatever. And then we're also going to need an engine, and I think that's everything we need to make the 4x4. So let's see if we're good to go. Boom. And it's only going to take a minute and 49 seconds. Look at that. Man, oh man, has it taken us a long time guys to get to this point holy moly what a struggle what a struggle but hey we finally finally have our four by four what is this episode 60 something or other it's taken us that long and you know we still have shit <laughs> we still have shit for inventory space oh man ravenhurst gotta love it all right well uh i kept all my specialty parts in this little toolbox thing here we never did find uh well actually i did find the flat radiator over in the other town, but I didn't have the crowbar to pick it up. So I just left it there. I know it's there. So if we need it in the future, like, you know, we might want to make the motorcycle at some point just to make faster trips. Uh, I know where one is. We just need to get a crowbar in order to make it. So what's going to happen now, guys, is I think it's a little too late in uh, the week for us to, to start the move because tomorrow is Horde 77. So we're going to do the Horde again over in our Horde base. We had a very, very successful Horde night on 70. We made, you know, we got five points um, and just kicked the shit out of the Horde with explosives. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take day 77 during the day off uh, from recording. And I'm going to go out to the desert and mine up a whole bunch of shale and... um. And I need to get more nitrate, too. Uh, so, I don't know. Maybe I should mine stone for that because we get a lot. I don't remember if we get nitrate in the desert or not. So, I'll have to figure that out. But anyway, uh, we have 
uh, we have these pipe bombs here. And so let's just take stock of all the pipe bombs that we currently have uh, available to us. We have two grenades, which isn't very many. And so if we do a sort, so, yeah, I mean, that's that's enough pipe bombs. If I don't really, you know, if I don't use them between now and then, that's enough to get us to the Horde Knight. Because remember, if we run out of explosives, we still, you know, we still can go to the melee, um, you know, resort to, to melee uh, to finish out the night if we have to. So I think we're actually in pretty good shape on pipe bombs. But I, uh, but I don't have a lot of gun. In fact, I don't have hardly any. We have five gunpowder. So I still think, you know, that I need to get some nitrate going. And, um... I'll figure figure that out. But, you know, the thing, the downside to having the 4x4 now is that it's going to consume gas quite a bit more quickly than the mini bike. And I don't know if we can rely upon using, you know, the gas stations, uh, you know, for this guy. Uh, and I think we're going to have to get serious about mining some oil shale. And, I, you know, we can go to the desert, of course, and do that. And so I think I'm going to spend day 77 well i gotta do some repairing over on the horde base so i'll do that um will you go away you're distracting me there um so i'll get that repaired go mine up a bunch of oil shells so we can make gas in quantity for the four by and then after horde 77 we're moving we are packing this thing up, and we are getting the hell out of Dodge and going down south to our new house that I showed you guys two or three episodes ago and spend the rest of this series down in the south in the city and continue enjoying Ravenhurst. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Um,